Good evening and welcome to TL Physics and today I'm going to be doing SUVAT examples. So, first off, I'm going to do a basic SUVAT example. So just to recap, I have all the equations that are on your data sheet here and the explanations of what SUVAT are here. I'm going to tell you how I go about doing questions. So I have a question here where a car is moving with an initial velocity of 30 meters per second, comes to a rest in about 10 seconds. My question is, how far did it travel and what was its deceleration? Now, how you do SUVAC questions is the easiest way to spot one a mile off is it starts talking about distance, speed and time. And how you start this, what I tend to do is I would write SUVAT down the side and I'd fill in what I know. So I know initially it was its initial velocity, so U was 30. I know it takes 10 seconds and I know it comes to a rest and they do do this a lot. They either say it starts from rest or comes to a rest. And what that means is the velocity either starting or ending would be zero. And then this time, because it's coming to a rest, this means its final velocity would be zero. Now, you would need at least three parts of the SUVAT to be able to solve a fourth. So how far did it travel? So, I want to find S. I know U, V and T, and I want to find S. So I look at my data sheet, and I find a formula that has U, V, T and S in it. And as you can see, it's the first one up here. So I'm going to use it. So I'm going to use S equals U plus V over 2 times by T. Putting my numbers in, I've got 30 plus 0 over 2 times by 10. So that's 30 plus 0, which is 30, divided by 2, which is 15. 15 times 10 would be 100. So 15 times 10 is 150 metres. So I'm going to put that in there. Okay. Now... My second part asked me to find its deceleration, and that's actually an acceleration. And this is it here. I now know everything. I can choose whatever formula I want. So it's normally a wise idea to go for the easiest. So I need a simple formula that has A in it, and this one here, V equals U plus AT. So V equals U plus AT. My V is zero. My U was 30 plus A times by 10. <coughs> Rearranging it, minus 30 equals A times 10. So A equals minus 30 over 10, so it's minus 3 metres per second squared. Okay. Deceleration implies that it has a minus sign in front of it here. So that is using SUVAT for this kind of question. I've got another question for us to have a go with. I've got a penguin sliding on the ice from rest and travels 10 metres before being flung off the glacier. Their acceleration was 2.5 metres per second per second. What velocity did they have? So, again, I'm going to write SUVAT, S-U-V-A-T, and I'm going to fill in the information I know. So I know he started from rest, so that would be zero. The initial velocity would be zero. I don't know my final velocity. I know he travelled 10 metres, and I know the acceleration was 2.5 now, I, need a, I don't know T at all. I need a formula that doesn't have T. So I'll go to my data sheet and I'll have a look. And only one formula doesn't have T in. It's this one here. V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. So I'm going to fill this in. So V squared equals 0 squared plus... 2 times 10 times 2.5. So V squared equals 2 times 10. So 
So 10, 10 times 2.5 is 25, times that is 50. So V is the square root of 50, and you can't leave root 50. You must put that into decimal points. So I'm going to put the square root 50, which is going to be 7.1 meters per second there. You can't leave root 50 for this one. You must, must, must put the actual value in decimal points. So 7.1 meters, this penguin is being flung off the glacier. So this is using SUVAT in two different formats and it's really important that you lay it out. I lay it out in a column format. You fill in what you know, identify what you need to find out and use formulae to find it out. Now it doesn't matter, if you wanted to, you could have used V equals U plus AT to find T and then found something else later. You're more than welcome to do that. If you want to find all missing five things, you can. The rules are, you need at least three things filled in the SUVAT box to be able to solve. So that is how you use SUVAT.